My name is Michaela. <laughs> Things to know about me, um, I was adopted by my biological grandmother. Um, had some issues with my biological mom and haven't really known her since I was eight. Haven't connected with her and don't really want to. Um, I grew up without my brother. He lives in Arizona. And I was born in Tucson, Arizona. Um, I'm going to college to become a teacher for special needs kids because I think there's not a big um, area for that. And I think a lot of kids need that support that have issues learning. Um, I'm obsessed with classic cars. As you can tell. Um, for two years in high school, I went to West Sound and I learned how to weld, fix, and repair cars. And I've learned sign language for five years. It's slowly slipping away because I haven't been doing it, but um, I have FASD. Does anyone know what that is? You know what it is? Yeah. Okay. Not a lot of people do. Um, fetal, FASD is fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, which I have. Um, other people might have FAS, which is fetal, fetal alcohol syndrome, which is dif a little different than FASD. Um, fetal alcohol syndrome is where you see it in the face. Um, their eyes are closer together, um, they have a shorter nose, and a flat face. And, but, um, the static encephalopathy is what I've told a lot of people that I have. It's um, permanent or unchanged brain damage, it's not changed. Um, I do not have a short-term memory, so I forget a lot. I think many of those, but <laughs> um, my challenges are I misfile things, it, and I get off track easily. Um, overstimulation. I cannot take a lot of noise or sounds. Certainly. Feels to close, following, um, and transition. I was terrified of coming to college. I did not know how to act, did not know how to feel, and I just didn't want to. Any of it. Um, three school related challenges I dealt with is organization space, and the body shop has really helped me with. Being more organized, it showed me that um, it just helped me a lot to be organized. Um, back into new environments and new teams. Uh, scavenger hunt and campus tour really showed me that I have a lot of um, opportunities for college. I know where a lot of um, resources are for me, and I know my way around the campus now. Um, poor memory and concentration, uh, I've always struggled with that throughout my whole life. Um, the weekly assignments and binder checks <coughs> and attendance helped me by looking back on what I've done each week, and the binder was to show where I put, where I would put my assignments and what I've done and what I haven't done. And the attendance just made me come here so I wouldn't drop my grade because that counts. Um, three valuable lessons is confidence. Um, the squad assignment showed me that I connected with a lot of people with all the different issues that I have. And I think 
it really helped me be more confident with myself to talk to others. Um, overcoming communication barriers was with a SMART goal. I've made a couple more SMART goals for my life and helped me with my future, with school and going to work and stuff. Um, the connecting people and resources, um, the catalog helped me find like access, which access services is pretty nice. And also the SWAT assignment helped me connect with people I normally don't talk to. Um, three personal mementos is my drawings and artwork and my 89 Dodge Ram, <coughs> that's my baby, and my music and records. I brought some. With me. I'm an oldies person, so. These are some of my artworks and drawings and paintings. And um, my drawings help me concentrate. It makes me lose all sense of reality, and it gets me out of my comfort zone. Um, music, it shows people that I'm different than anyone else. I grew up with my grandparents, so <coughs> 50s, 60s, 70s music is my favorite. Um, these are my idols. There's Janis Joplin, Elvis Presley, Needles, Rolling Stones, and Needles. I look forward to <coughs> Elvis Presley is one of my biggest idols. He showed me that there is life in a lot of different things and that you can overcome any barriers that you set. This is my truck. Um, the two bottom pictures were a few months after I brought it into Wet Sound. That's when I uh, sanded the old paint down, did body work, and it's in the booth ready to be painted. And the top two are when it was almost finished. It got the white done. And it showed me a lot of. I, it showed me a lot of. Um, one of my biggest goals to finish, and it shows people that I'm a hard-working person that I can overcome anything that I set my mind to. That's when it was done. Um, it's just my baby. Put a lot of work into it. 